Hello YouTubers, this is Sesta Ace, back again with another video. Another DVD Blu-ray collections video. This is part two in the series. I will eventually also be showing still books as soon as I start buying some. I would like to dedicate this video to YouTuber Patimus. That's P-A-T-T-I-M-U-S. I will stick a link to it down there in the description box. The reason I am doing so is because I happen to know that Patimus likes horror films, and there are quite a few horror films in amongst all of these DVDs that I've pulled in Blu-rays. And quite frankly, I've pulled a lot more than I could possibly show in this video. I'd like to start with Puppet Master, Volume 1. I have quite a lot of titles from Full Moon on both DVD and Laserdisc. Puppet Master. Puppet Master 2. I don't like the channels of the format. And you can't really see what you're supposed to be looking at. That's not a slight on anyone in particular. It's just an observation I've made. Puppet Master 3. One thing, most people's autofocuses can't keep up with that kind of movement. Puppet Master 4. Okay. This next one doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But I'll get to that in a minute. This is the original version of The Fog, which I picked up at Big Lots for $1.88. I already have this on other media, but I want to go ahead and get it. This stars Adrian Barbeau, Jamie Lee Curtis, John Hausman, Janet Lee, and Hal Holbrook. Produced by Deborah Hill, written by John Carpenter and Deborah Hill, directed by John Carpenter, music by John Carpenter. It has a new documentary, a 1980 documentary, a whole bunch of other features, and audio commentary by John Carpenter and Deborah Hill. And I believe Deborah Hill is no longer with us. No, wait, there's that. And then there's this. This is the part that doesn't make sense. This is the remake. By the way, also, this has both the widescreen version and the what they call the standard version, otherwise known as Payne's Game. This is the remake with a no star cast. Okay? So I'll skip the cast part. Based on a story by John Carpenter and Deborah Hill. Screenplay by Cooper Lane. Produced by Deborah Hill, David Foster, and John Carpenter. And directed by Rupert Wainwright. What doesn't make sense is that the original, which is a better movie, it's dollar eighty-eight. I paid five dollars for the remake. Go figure. Okay. Night train.
Fathom, which includes in the cast Raquel Welsh. And it was the screenplay was written by Ran Lorenzo Simple Jr. It has uh, extras as well. Okay, this is the five star collection edition of the French Connection. This copy was used, but it's on two discs and it has a ton of extra features. Original aspect ratio. Scene specific commentary by Gene Hackman and Roy Scheider, who's no longer with us. Director's commentary by William Friedkin. Original theatrical trailer. Enhanced widescreen, aspect ratio 1.85 to 1. Audio is 5.1 Dolby surround. It also offers English stereo surround and French mono. In subtitles, English and Spanish. Disc 2. Making the Connection, the Untold Stories, Behind the Scenes Documentary, Poughkeepsie Shuffle, BBC Documentary, Seven Deleted Scenes, hosted by William Friedkin, and trailers for The French Connection and The French Connection 2. Pretty good for $3.99. Okay, I know this is a geeky one to have, but I don't care. It's It features William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy, and that's it. It's called Mind Melt. Secrets Behind the Voyage of a Lifetime. It's basically just them talking. Contrary to how they sometimes speak to one another, they are the best of friends. There are extras included with this, too, such as a making of featurette. It's an enhanced widescreen. They actually say widescreen anamorphic format, but to be more correct, it should be enhanced widescreen. There's that. Mongol, the rise of Genghis Khan. Or as um, John Kerry says, Genghis Khan. So you pull out of this hat. Seduction Cinema presents Collector's Edition DVD in the Flesh. I posted a picture of this uh, case on my Facebook page and I had people say, I gotta get me that. I think they just like the cover. Okay, Blade of the Vampire. I've been buying a lot of comic books and manga lately too, so I'm way behind on showing things. I've got over, well, a lot of comics that are coming in addition to the 200 that I've already bought that I haven't shown you. And I've got a lot, by a lot, I mean, I bought a lot of British comics. Bugs Bunny, that wacky rabbit. This is a really good movie. Starring Tony Curtis, Henry Fonda, and George Kennedy. 
And it's not the kind of uh, film you would expect to find Tony Curtis in. Based on a true story, The Boston Strangler. Now, the director of this film, Richard Fleischer, who also directed 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, the Disney version, as well as uh, Fantastic Voyage, you know, where they get in a submarine and they miniaturize it and go inside the human body. He directed three uh, true crime films, all three that I know of. And I showed you one of the other ones yesterday, well, in the previous video, it wasn't yesterday, but in the previous video, and that was um, 10 Relenting Place. Two disc special edition, Blade Runner, the final cut, yeah, I believe that. It's like, it's a mad, 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 mad world. It and Blade Runner have been re-edited so many times. It's just, it can drive you wacky trying to uh, figure it all out. Did I show you the other one yesterday? I mean, the previous video and tell you I have another one? But in any event, I, I have another one. Another copy of this. Blue Thunder with Roy Scheider. I saw this in the theater. You may hear me say that a lot because I've been to a lot of films. Not as much now as I used to, but anyway. I was making a list one time and I stopped at well over 300. Okay, this has two um films in it on it both starring Vincent Price and Christopher Lee although one only has only one has Peter Cushing in addition to Christopher Lee the oblong box and scream and scream again Animated film, Justice League, okay, this has five episodes of the Jack Benny program, which actually started on radio, and continued on radio while it was on television for a long time. This features episodes that include, as guests, George Burns, Ben Crosby, Mel Blank, who was on there quite a bit, Giselle McKenzie, and more. And yes, the Mel Blank. The Essential Earnest DVD Collection. I believe he's now deceased. But this includes uh, Ernest Goes to Africa, Ernest Greatest Hits 1, Ernest Greatest Hits 2, Ernest in the Army, Hey Vern, it's my family album, and your world as I see it. Appaloosa. Thor, I didn't show this one, did I? Drive-In Cult Classics, 8 movie collection. For $5, I got Pickup, 1980, The Sister-in-Law, 1974, The Stepmother, 1972, the Teacher, 1974, Trip with the Teacher, 1975, Best Friends, 1975, 
Cindy and Donna, 1970, and Malibu High, 1979. Okay, Saturday Morning Cartoons, 1960s, Volume 1. A lot of Hanna-Barbera on here. Over five hours. This includes some bonus material, the good, the bad, and the elk bomb. The Herculoids, first family of Planet Quasar, Monster Rock, The Adventures of Frankenstein Jr. and the Impossibles. Those are the extras. This is the 1960s volume two. The um, special feature is completely bananas, the Miguel Gorilla story. Take Yogi Bear, turn him on his ear, and what do you get? Miguel Gorilla. Our experts will explain how the latest and half of our line of anthropomorphic heroes differed from its predecessors and signaled the end of the line of comical anime animal leads. And Saturday morning wake up call. Okay, Saturday morning cartoons, 1980s. Let's skip the 70s. Yes, there was an animated Mr. T. There was an animated Martin Short, too. Special features, Lords of Light, Thundar. The Barbarian. Explore the animated origins of this timeless hero and why his popular series still resonates today. Okay. The complete first season of The Flying Nun, starring Sally Field. This has the rare one-hour pilot, which when it aired with the regular series, it was cut down to half an hour, which after you took out the commercials made it 22 minutes. I've also got the uncut hour-long pilot on VHS. All 30 episodes on four discs. Featurette includes exclusive interview with Sally Field. This series got a lot of praise from nuns because of the way they were portrayed in the television series and it basically humanized them and that's what they liked about it. Okay. I'm jumping to the complete season two, part two, because that's all I have in this series on DVD. Ghost Hunters. Okay, this is a Jackie Chan film, Black Dragon. I actually have a lot of Jackie Chan films on DVD.
This is from the military channel called Gun Camera. Pamela Anderson Lee, unrated version of Barb Wire. Battle of the Bulge. Henry Fonda, Robert Shaw, Robert Ryan, Dana Andrews. What's new, Scooby Doo? Monster Matinee. This has the Scooby Doo Halloween, San Fran Psycho. New Mexico, Old Monster, Big Appetite, in Little Tokyo. Electra. The Life and Death of Peter Sellers. I saw this on satellite. I just haven't opened this DVD. Titanic, the definitive documentary collection. I have so many documentaries on the Titanic. It's just unbelievable. This includes Echoes of the Titanic. Titanic Remembered, the story of Captain Smith and the Titanic, and End of an Era. Bonus documentary, Titanic Survivors. Well, I still have a lot that isn't on there. Coming up on some pals stuff pretty soon. This is John Travolta and Nancy Allen in a Brian De Palma film, Blowout. Okay. Stick that there. That there. There. That there. And I can't see the monitor. Jackie Chan film. 1911. I know a lot of people don't like this film, but I do. Okay, this is a PAL standard release, although it is available in the U.S. on NTSC. I just don't know if it was back when I bought this. Back when I bought this, I must have, in a two or three month period of time, ordered about 80 or 90 
how standard releases from a company in the UK. They've changed their name, but the one thing I do remember about them is that they shipped out of Ireland. Anyway, the series is To the Manor Born with Penelope Keith. It was also in The Good Life on here as Good Neighbors. Okay, I'm going to go by lowest catalog reference number because they're not otherwise identified volume 1 or volume 2 or anything like that. Features over 200 minutes of classic comedy. Says the same thing for this one. Double DVD featuring over three hours of classic comedy. Includes exclusive interview with writer Peter Spence, production notes, and cast filmographies. Featuring the last ever episode. Okay, I have this one on VHS, Active Stealth. Okay, I have this on Laserdisc and the uncut box set version. I also have the uncut version on VHS and this is the uncut version on DVD 1941. Yes, I saw this in the theater and I read the novel. Well, I should say novelization. And the novelization is actually better than the film. I have about 20 film versions of this. I'll go clear back to the silent era. This is 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. This was made by Hallmark Entertainment. Click. Pathfinder. This I, this I got from Sinister Cinema. Three Avengers. Roger Corman Drive-In Collection. 
Attack of the Giant Leeches, The Wasp Woman, Creature from the Haunted Sea, A Bucket of Blood, Last Woman on Earth, Little Shop of Horrors, The Terror, Dimension 13, She Gods of Shark Reef, and Swamp Women. Running time 11 hours 53 minutes. Iron Lady with Meryl Streep playing Margaret Thatcher. Alan Rickman in Bottle Shock. This is a weird animated film. One of the producers, Tim Burton, so that explains that. Nine. Or six. It's actually nine. One of many James Bond films that I have on DVD, and this one is probably the least probable. I did see it in the theater, however, so no matter complain. Moonraker. This, my wife was watching this on satellite, and she was really getting into it. And then I finally said, you know, we have this on DVD. Because I was wanting to change the channel and watch something else. Because something else was coming that I want to see. And she said, we do. And I said, yes. No more is the geisha. This has Michelle Yeoh in it. I was just scanning the back. Jack to make sure I was remembering correctly. And I was. Okay. Wallace and Gromit. The wrong trousers. I believe I have this on laser disc. Tron Legacy. This is one that people were waiting for eons. For it to come out on VHS, and when it did, it was outrageously priced. And then they delayed the release of it on DVD until, I mean, Laserdisc, until they felt that the number of people who were going to buy it had already bought it on VHS because Laserdiscs were not copy protected. Anyway, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. This, this, this and Mary Poppins have something in common. They're almost wall-to-wall -wall music numbers. There's like 16 music numbers in Mary Poppins. The longest musical segment runs it's either 14 or 15 minutes. Somebody at Disney had wanted to cut it down to three and a half. And the cast were against it and the director was against it. So they loaned the director a 16 millimeter movie camera and gave him film stock. And he shot the rehearsals and edit everything in sequence for that whole 15 minute musical number sequence. And uh, Walt liked it, so it stayed in that way. But the Rocky Horror Picture Show, if you watch it, it's almost as soon as one musical number ends, 
I only have to wait a few seconds before they start the beat for the second one, and then for the third one, and then for the fourth one. This is a lot of walk. Let me show those two. This is a really good Vincent Price film. It's an anthology. Twice Told Tales. An anthology, an anthology of comedy, The Groove Tube. There were several that came out at the time this one did. And this one features in the cast um, Chevy Chase, a real girly Chevy Chase. There was also Tunnel Vision and um, no way. Oh well. It'll either come to me or it won't. Bruce Lee, A Dragon Story. Bullet, which has one of the best car ch chase scenes in motion picture history. Nothing faked, no models. No CGI, just cars racing. And Steve McQueen does a lot of his own driving. And you can tell because they set the camera up that way. Hey, if your star is going to risk his life doing his own stunt driving, you want to show the people that yes, he was actually driving. This is Bulletproof Monk. So we went from Bullet to Bulletproof Monk. Return of the Magnificent Seven. King Arthur. The Iron Giant. Which I believe has Chorus Leachman in it. Yes, uh, she does one of the voices, score sleeping, and another one is Jennifer Aniston. Okay, season one, volume one of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Batman Begins, this and Blu-rays, Kung Fu Hustle, Madagascar 3, Blazing Saddles, Alternate cut, Red Riding Hood, Alien. You're bound to see this one on DVD eventually because I have it on DVD. The extended cut of Sucker Punch. Alpha and Omega. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Let's see, I think we can get two more DVDs in here. This is a double feature, both with Vincent Price, the Bat and shock
Eastern Promises. Let's do a Category 3 Hong Kong film. And I think most people out there know what a Category 3 film is. This is Beauty of the Haunted House. Let me get rid of the glare. Twenty eight weeks. Okay, and that's all I can fit in those two ginormous containers. Until next time. You never know what I'm going to show next time. Stay awesome. Fathom, which includes in the cast Raquel Welsh. And it was the screenplay was written by Ran Lorenzo Simple Jr. It has uh, extras as well. Okay, this is the five star collection edition of the French Connection. This copy was used, but it's on two discs and it has a ton of extra features. Original aspect ratio, scene specific commentary by Gene Hackman and Roy Scheider, who's no longer with us. Director's commentary by William Friedkin. Original theatrical trailer, enhanced widescreen that's for a dollar eighty-eight. Already have this on other media, but I want to go ahead and get it. This stars Adrian Barbeau, Jamie Lee Curtis, John Hausman, Janet Lee, and Hal Holbrook. Produced by Deborah Hill, written by John Carpenter and Deborah Hill, directed by John Carpenter, music by John Carpenter. It has a new documentary, a 1980 documentary, a whole bunch of other features, and audio commentary by John Carpenter and Deborah Hill. And I believe Deborah Hill is no longer with us. All right, there's that. And then there's this. This is the part that doesn't make sense. This is the remake. By the way, also, this has both the widescreen version and the what they call the standard version, otherwise known as Pants Game. This is the remake. With an Hello, YouTubers. This is Cesta Ace back again with another video. Another DVD Blu ray collections video. This is part two in the series. I will eventually also be showing steel books as soon as I start buying some. I would like to dedicate this video to YouTuber Patamus. That's P A T T I M U S. I will stick a link to it down there in the description box. The reason I am doing so is because I happen to know that Patamus likes horror films, and there are quite a few horror films in amongst all of these DVDs that I've pulled in Blu-rays, and quite frankly, I've pulled a lot more than I could possibly show in this video. I'd like to start with Puppet Master, Volume 1. I 
have quite a lot of titles from Full Moon on both DVD and Laserdisc. Puppet Master. Puppet Master 2. I don't like the challenges that come out. And, uh, and you can't really see what you're supposed to be looking at. That's not a slight on anyone in particular. It's just an observation I've made. Puppet Master 3. One thing, most people's autofocuses can't keep up with that kind of movement. Puppet Master 4. Okay, this next one doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but I'll get to that in a minute. This is the original version of The Fog, which I picked up at Big Lots, no star cast. Okay, so I'll skip the cast part. Based on a story by John Carpenter and Deborah Hill. Screenplay by Cooper Lane. Produced by Deborah Hill, David Foster, and John Carpenter. And directed by Rupert Wainwright. What doesn't make sense is that the original, which is... A better movie. It's a dollar eighty eight. I paid five dollars for the remake. Go figure. Okay. Night train. 